Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewood channel. So today in this video, we will be dealing with simulium species. That is, they are actually the black flies. They are called as the black flies, which has a very big role in the leucocytosome transmission and also the onchocerciasis in human, that is river blindness transmission. So, Simulium is a genus of black flies which may transit diseases such as Oncocerciasis. It has got many uh, subgenus and subspecies, etc. So, they are actually called as the black fly because they are black colored. And the host will produce many reactions to the fly attack, that is, systemic illness, allergic reactions, even death. And in humans, in systemic reactions, they actually got black fly fever that is transmitted after the the fever produced after the black fly bite. So the common names. This fly has got many common names. That is the black fly, buffalo gnats, photo fly, turkey gnats, etc. And mostly they are anthropophilic and they reside in the human area. And some are zoophilic. They are powerful biters of man and animals and they also attack poultry and produce annoyance of the livestock. They are very swift flyers. They fly more distance and they are mainly night active muscular activity so moving to the taxonomical details uh, the kingdom animalia phylum arthropoda class insecta and they belong to the order diptera and suborder nematoceras so the family is simulidae and the genus is simulium so this is the black fly see they are black colors so they are called black flies see this is very important understanding feature see the black flies has included uh, many pictures because the picture will help us to remind about the structure, the venation and identification of any of these insects. So this is Simulium damnosum, a very important species. This is pro Simulium species that is a subgenera, Austro Simulium etc. So moving to the morphology, they are actually uh, dark colored flies, small thick set flies and mouth parts is short piercing and sucking type so you have to make sure that the short piercing sucking type will be reminded in your mind because this is very important point regarding the simulium and antenna is not hairy and show no sexual dimorphism in the antenna eyes will have a difference that is holoptic in males and dicoptic in females so you have to be uh, vigilant about the holoptic and dicoptic you have to know what these are and analobe is broad you have to body is fully covered with golden and silvery hairs you have to identify that point because that will help you to distinguish between other flies so the life cycle is same as that of everyone that is egg to larva larva to pupa and pupa to adult so moving to the pathogenesis they are actually powerful biters they produce hypersensitivity reaction edema small uh, um, like rashes like symptoms and all and that may become the warts and papules etc sometimes they inject a toxin which is lethal to very large animals and small animals so this can kill the animal so role as a vector they act as intermediate host for the river blindness in the human beings and oncocerciasis in cattle and they transmit eastern equine encephalitis virus and vs virus in the cattle which is actually a rub dog release and they transmit leucocytosomosis of turkey and simondi of duck so they are the transmitter of leucocytosome and act as intermediate host in case of human oncocerciasis and cattle oncocerciasis. So this is the life cycle of Oncocerca volvulus, which is a, which is having a main role in the in the river blindness transmission. So this is actually a method which is done in the endemic area. You can see. The vector collector, see the vector collector catches all cyanulium flies that come to land on his legs. They will be coming to bite and uh, this by this machine they will be catching all the cyanulium flies. So the black fly, this is the human stage and this is the black fly stage in the microfill area. This is the development, you can see. So this is the river blindness. So control is very difficult actually 
So we can use lindane, we can use uh, many rugs like things, we can use larvicides in the area where the larvae are produced, and we can use light colored clothes in human beings, use of repellents applied to the clothing, etc. Thank you, guys.